What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Captain Ken here from 90 Knots and welcome to the series on how to properly detail your boat. Go ahead and sit tight, hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss a single episode. Let's get into it. Let's go. guys so in this episode what we're going to be showing you how to do is remove some deep scratches from your Joe coat style hull um, you know these are inevitable hitting docks while you're fishing you know uh, you know it you're gonna get scratches in your hull and you know I'm what I'm gonna show you is how to actually remove those now on very very light scratches you can get away with just compounding it However, when you get deep scratches like this one, but it's not down um, beyond the gel coat, um, what you have to do is actually sand these scratches out. And so what I'm gonna start with is wet sandpaper. And the wet sandpaper that I usually choose to do, because um, again, I don't wanna use anything more abrasive than I have to to get this scratch out. Um, and a good starting point on a deep scratch, okay, is I use uh, 1000 grit sandpaper. So, you know, I'll usually grab um, a few sheets of this, just rip a piece off because I'm just doing this, this spot right here. And go ahead and grab you a spray bottle and mix some, uh, you know, uh, Dawn or, you know, soap that's pretty compatible with that, even your, your off brand from your grocery store will work fine, and mix it with some water. Um, and put it in a spray bottle. What that'll do is kind of lubricate um, the sandpaper as well as the surface for you. And you know, just kind of spray the, the scratch, spray the sandpaper, and, and start working it, okay? I like to use circular motions. Um, you can kind of go back and forth, up and down, left and right. You want to, Keep this area wet. So when you feel it start to get dry, just get a little bit more spray and just start scratching. Well, sand, right? And while I'm sanding, I'm I'm closely paying attention if that scratch is gone. So periodically, you know what I'll do is I'll stop, I'll grab a microfiber towel, and I'll wipe you know the water off. And for the most part, it looks like I almost got that scratch completely gone. But there's still some of it left. So, literally, you just keep performing the same step. And just keep sanding it down. And, you know, a lot of times this isn't a really quick process. And this tells me... You know, if I didn't remove that scratch really quick with this 1000 grit sandpaper, it, it was a pretty decent scratch, which means you're, you're probably not gonna get it with just compound alone. And it doesn't take much longer just to use that sandpaper. Keep giving the sand. If you see the little extra spots, you know, you gotta come back and sand this to a, a lighter grit and then come back compound it out so if you see an extra scratch just go ahead and take care of that at the same time I'm just trying to get it as best as I can because ultimately what I'm gonna do and you know make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss it I'm gonna ceramic coat this hall so if you want to see how to properly ceramic coat go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i'll have a link to that video down in the uh down in the box below so make sure you go ahead and click on that and watch that as well but 
before you go and ceramic coat a boat, you have to prep the surface. The better the surface is prepped, removing your scratches, um, the better it's gonna come out. So again, uh, sit tight and we're almost got that scratch completely removed. Then we can move to the next step. Don't be afraid to you know, use wet sandpaper, but again, you also don't wanna go too far either. So as you see what I'm doing every now and then, just saying that I just wanna get just barely that scratch out. And for the most part, looks like I got it. It's just a touch more right here. Looks like I pretty much got it. So what I'm gonna do is I've, I've got a lot of scratches on the side of this hall. Um, I'm gonna just slowly but surely just work my way down, utilize this 1000 sandgrid paper that I know that um, compounding won't take the scratches out. So when I go back, and actually compound the side of this hull, I've I minimized the amount of scratches. That way I have a really good surface um, prepared for my ceramic coat. All right, as you saw, I went ahead and I went all the way along um, my hull and used that 1000 uh, grit sandpaper. Any scratch that you know I felt that uh, couldn't be compounded out, I went ahead and uh, uh, just wet sanded it there. The next step that I'm gonna do uh, before we start uh, compounding out um, this haziness. As you can see after uh, the first stage of sanding, you see this haziness, right? Don't panic, okay? When we go back and we actually compound this, this will return right back to its natural luster. So um, again, um, just go through. If you find a scratch, use a, the 1000 uh, wet uh, sandpaper, wet the surface, wet the sandpaper, keep uh, sanding it till that, uh, that scratch is gone. After that, what I like to do, uh, a lot of times people can go and just compound this out. However, I've got a black hull, um, and you know the darker hulls seem to uh, show, um, you know, imperfections a lot more, right? So uh, what I do um, after uh, after I uh, sand it with 1,000, I'll go back with 2,000. Um, so that just makes sure that uh, the 2,000 actually sands out the 1,000 scratches. Um, so you actually don't see it after you uh, uh, compound it. So uh, one of the things that uh, you definitely want to do is you want to sand wider than the actual area where you uh, sanded 1000. So this area where I actually sanded 1000, I'll probably go out to here even further, probably, you know, three, three inches, two to three inches or so around that entire uh, area. That way it, it actually blends in. So. Um, all right, so we went ahead, found our scratches, sanded to a 1000, went behind it with uh, 2000 sandpaper. Now it's time to compound. So you gotta ask yourself what kind of compounds is there on the market? Well, you know, there's a new product on the market or a new company, should I say, named Stark. And they really have pretty much every compound covered. Starting you know, with the, the extra heavy, heavy cut compound. Um, this removes uh, scratches from 600 to 800 sandpaper. So this is really for, you know, those hulls that, um, you know, got a lot of oxidation um, where, you know, you're, you're trying to save it with, uh, with say it without sanding or even if it's so oxidized that you, uh, you, you have to do some heavy duty sanding. This is the compound for you. Then the next step up, what they actually have is called their restructure. Their restructure is also another heavy compound. Um, it removes uh, scratches from 800 to 1000 grit. Um, this right now on what we've already done still would be a little too heavy, I think. Um, again, like I told you before, it's, it's better to, you know, uh, use the least amount of abrasion as possible so you're not, you know, uh, taking away too much of your gel coat. Um, so what we're going to use uh, with a wool pad to try to remove, you know, this haziness and these scratches to get it back to its luster is their Elevate. Their Elevate removes 1,000 to 1,200. Now, you know that we went back over it with 2,000, but then again, I want to compound all of these areas, okay? 
that we went ahead and sanded. After I go ahead and compound that, then we're gonna go back with the ignition. The ignition removes uh, scratches from 1500 and above. That's what we're gonna do the rest of the haul with, including the areas that you know we didn't wet sand to go ahead and prep us before we start ceramic coating this boat. That way we have you know the best surface as possible before we go ahead and add that ceramic coat. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down this ignition. I'm gonna grab a uh, rotary. When it comes to um, just removing this first set of haziness, I prefer to use a rotary uh, with a wool pad. After we remove that, again, we don't want swirl marks. And to remove swirl marks behind the rotary, because if you just stop with a rotary with a wool pad, you're gonna get um, kind of like a holographic pattern left on um, your hull. So how you get rid of that is, you know, um, we'll use the ignition like I was telling you, but we're gonna use a, a dual axle and polisher. So when we get to that step, I'll show you that step. But right now we're gonna go ahead and use um, this wool pad. And again, all you gotta do is just spread it around just a little bit, okay? And a real key is to start off on a low speed. And the reason why you wanna start off on a low speed is you just want coverage, okay? And I like to work just a small area. You know, I'm just sitting here trying to hit all these areas that I wet sanded. After I feel that I've got, you know, a good amount of coverage and product on the area, I'm gonna go ahead and bump up the speed, but not too much. And I'm gonna go up and down, left and right. You don't wanna stay in one area too long because you could burn the gel coat. What this uses is it's polishing, but it also has a lot of heat. You know, what I really like about uh, this product, there's not a lot of sling. And what I mean by sling is when you use a compound and you go and use a, uh, especially a rotary buffer, uh, it just goes everywhere. And as you can see, uh, this product itself doesn't produce a lot of sling, which is good, makes it a lot easier to work with. And, you know, overall speeds up your whole entire process because you got, got way less cleanup. So. It looks like it did um, pretty good. Uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, just to make myself feel a little bit better, which I could probably stop right here, but I'm just gonna hit it one more time in this area. That way I really, really cut down those scratches. And again, I'm gonna start on a lower speed. It's actually got a pretty good smell to it too. All right, got a good coverage. shabby so what I'm gonna do is after I'm done hitting that you just take a microfiber towel 
want to rub off the excess. As you can see, that haziness from that sandpaper is now gone. So what I'm going to do is, you know, again, I've got uh, a lot more scratches on this or where I was repairing. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, fix those and then I'm going to come back to this. All right, it's the next day, guys. Uh, as I told you, um, I'm doing my entire boat, which this is a 25-foot uh, Tidewater uh, Carolina Bay. Um, we, uh, we finished our, our compounding after we went ahead and got the scratches out that we wanted to. Then we came back with the, uh, the Elevate, which is the median cut compound with uh, 1,000 to 1,200 grit. Uh, gets rid of those scratches there. As you can see, the hull looks really, really good. Um, even on this black, um, it literally looks like black glass right now. However, um, in the direct sunlight, with only using the orbital alone, you're gonna see uh, you know, holograms, holographic marks. Um, and how we make sure that we don't have that, because again, black's gonna show everything, we're gonna switch to a, a dual action polisher with a foam pad and uh, as well as we're gonna drop down to the, uh, the ignition compound, which this actually is a, uh, a finishing polish. And it, what it does is it's designed to remove uh, scratches at 1500 or better. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, use this and this should really pretty much eliminate any swirl marks, give us a little bit better uh, uh, luster. Um, all I'm doing is putting, you know, some pea-sized dots and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it off on a lower speed on on this one probably about two and just kind of give a couple of dabs of the general area that I'm gonna I'm gonna start polishing and then turn it on and just slowly work this polish in up and down Kind of doing uh, pretty much got good coverage of the working area that I want to do. Now I'm going to bump her up, and when I when I bump her up, I'm going to go up and down, left and right. Basically, I'm I'm going to half coverage for each uh, pass. I'm going to be covering about half as much. Cover, coverage area, take a fresh uh, microfiber towel, and wipe off the excess. Wow. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but the area where I just polished from here to here is, it, it's a deep, um, wet look. You can tell that the, uh, the gloss definitely intensified well, I mean, I can literally see the line right here. You may not be able to pick it up on camera, but I tell you what, this is a huge difference. And 
you know, I was really impressed after just the compound alone on the uh, on the medium cut. Wow, man, this literally looks like black glass. So just use the same motion. Again, kind of work in a, uh, a three by three section, wipe it off, move to the next one. Cover the three by three, wipe it off, move to the next one. Again, just cover in half, half the pad each time. Up and down, left and right, make sure you get complete coverage. Wipe it off, make sure you're happy with it, and then move on. Definitely impressed. I tell you what, the, this uh, this had like a, like a grape smell too. So um, I've, I've used a lot of products before, and you know, maybe maybe smell isn't important to you, uh, but I tell you what, it is kind of, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's making me a little hungry uh, smelling the grapes. Uh, I definitely want to go get some like grape Kool-Aid or grape soda or something like that. So uh, it is kind of nice to have something uh, that smells good, not just such a, uh, a really distinct chemical smell. So uh, I'm going to finish the rest of this haul. And uh, after that, I'll show you the next step that I'm going to do to finish it up. All right, guys it's the next day last night i went ahead and finished up uh compounding the rest of this boat um and and finished it off with the with the ignite on a foam applicator pad on my da as you can see uh behind me it uh it literally came out like black glass man unbelievable you know i'm i'm highly impressed on how this came out um, to be honest with you, after compounding with the Elevate with a high speed wool pad, going back with the Ignite with the dual action polisher with a foam pad, I can tell you that this, this gel coat is, is better than the day I bought it. I'm really, really uh, impressed. Um, and those guys over at Stark really know what they're doing. So now you're at the spot where you have to make the decision of, you know, are you just going to wax it? Are you going to have a, a, a sealant? To protect uh, the hard work that you've just done or are you going to ceramic coat it um, the decision i'm choosing is i'm going to go ahead and ceramic coat this boat and i'm going to leave uh, a link down in the description box for that video so if you want to see how to properly uh ceramic coat your boat go ahead and hit that subscribe button and again that link will uh be in the description below but again uh for most of you you're probably going to make the decision to use a wax or a sealant um, Here's a, a couple of uh, options I would suggest that you try is first off, you have the uh, Revolution from Stark here, which is a polymer, polymer based wax. Um, the good news about this one, you probably wouldn't want to use this after the stage that we just did because you know we've we've got this baby looking fresh what this one is for is it, it kind of has polishing properties but it has a polymer wax into it so you, you kind of will remove those uh, minute swirl marks uh, using this on your boat um, you know if you're not going through the whole stage of compounding so that might be something that you use you know every every three months or so then the next step that you could use would be the hyper hold okay and this is also a polymer base with extreme uv um protection so this one is you know it's going to be very very hydrophobic as well and it's also going to protect this this beautiful finish that you know i work so hard for and if if you follow the steps in this video you work so hard for um as well and then the last one i would make a total total recommendation would be the hybrid marine sealant so what's so awesome about this is it's a polymer and a wax and when i talk about water beading unbelievable water beading so if if that's really what you're looking for in in protecting your boat give those guys out a uh a, check them out you can find them at uh, marine detail supply dot uh, com and you know, just choose which one suits suits you the best. And again, 
Um, I, I appreciate everyone out there. And if you want to see how to ceramic coat your bow, hit that subscribe button and go down in the link in the description. Again, this is uh, Captain Ken from Naughty Knots, and I'll see you next time. Peace.